Hello friends. Julie Cruz, author worldly crooner on Twin Peaks, dies at 65. Julie Cruz, the singer best known for her collaborations with director David Lynch and the B-52s, died Thursday. Her husband, author Edward Grinnan, confirmed to NPR that Cruz died by suicide and had struggled with lupus, depression and alcohol and drug addiction in the past. She was 65. She left this realm on her own terms, Grinnan wrote of Cruz in a Facebook post Thursday evening. No regrets. She is at peace. I played her the B-52's song Rome during her transition. Now she will roam forever. Rest in peace, my love, and love to you all. Born December 1, 1956 in Creston, Iowa, Cruz was known for her unusual vocal presence, so intensely calm and collected that it could be unsettling, which found a receptive audience in Lynch and score composer Angelo Badalamenti. For the 1986 film Blue Velvet, the two were looking to mimic the effect of this Mortal Coils version of Song to the Siren by Tim Buckley, whose rights proved too costly to clear. Inspired, the trio worked together again on Floating into the Night, Cruz's solo debut. Released in 1989, the album includes songs from Blue Velvet and others that would be featured in Lynch's concert film Industrial Symphony No. 1 and, most famously, the early 90s touchstone Twin Peaks. In the ruckus of beers flying through the air at the roadhouse, we have Julie singing a beautiful, slow tempo song, and it's so outrageous, but Alimenti shared with the academic journal series in 2016. Cruz worked again with Lynch and Badalamenti for her 1993 album The Voice of Love, but after that she wouldn't release music again until The Art of Being a Girl, 2002, and My Secret Life, 2011. Those post-millennium albums, she said, were something of a reaction to time spent in what she called a boys' club. In addition to singing, Cruz was also a Broadway actress, a pilot and a dog trainer. In the 90s, she filled in as a touring member of the B-52s while Cindy Wilson, another tough singer drawn to blurring the lines between kitsch and fine art, focused on raising a family. SHE will love them always and never forget their travels together around the world. We always miss you Julie. Thank you for watching friends.